Hey guys, this is Zerk here bringing you another Fallout Shelter guide. Today we're going to be talking about special and I'm going to go ahead and start off actually with just showing you one of the characters. Uh, let's pick this guy right up here. Let's tap on the special logo and you got strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Okay, so each category, each room needs something. So we got uh, right here we got for the power it's the strength so the more the higher your strength what it does it is actually makes it go faster so you'll have a room it'll all have the same output but the more people in there with the higher amount of strength the faster it'll go to complete a room so that you'll get that back so that's yes that three minutes and 53 seconds but if I had everybody in that room it would be going a lot faster so the, the higher the number is, uh, the faster it'll go and the more you'll be able to produce. So if I had everybody in here, six people, and they all had maxed out strength, this thing would be pumping around in like less than a minute or something like that. It would be putting out 49 per second. So it's really important in the long run when you're making these that that's uh, what you focus on. So the other rooms, same thing. The more people you have with higher amounts of whatever it is that they need, and this one it's agility for cooking then the faster it'll go for their cook time so let's go ahead and look at their cook time it's a minute and 55 seconds or something like that it was faster but I have three of them now so I'm not too worried about it I have some of them that have you know stats like that which is almost maxed out so the way you do that is later on after you get more people you're gonna unlock stuff like a gym uh, an athletic studio um, and I got like armory and stuff like that. They got a school. Um, they got all these buildings. Real quick so you can see. We got the radio station, which you can avoid. Don't don't even mess with that right away. You can just do that later. Uh, weight room, athletics room, armory, classroom, fitness room. And I got a lounge now. And the game room. So the first couple that are going to be important is definitely going to be the gym. You know, your, your three main ones, your food, your electricity, and your water. So I go, I went ahead and put them all in here, and they're all at the same speed now. Remember, two per room. Every time you expand, you can get an additional two. So it's working on their strength right now. So strength's at six. Max is out is at ten. And it starts off with, like, I think it was 30 minutes. And then it goes to, like, 40, 45 minutes. And then it goes to, like, an hour. And then it goes to, like, an hour and a half into two hours and four hours six hours eight hours and I think it's probably ten or something or twelve at the end and level up and when they're all done I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in uh, one of my uh, you know construction power plants right here I don't need them per se right now because I'm doing pretty good with collecting clothes that's really been helping me out so that's a good thing another reminder to go out and and, and explore the wasteland and also to complete the challenges to get those uh, lunch boxes because that'll get you another a lot of rare clothing and you put that on and that'll help your your guys uh, be more efficient and I'm gonna get them all maxed out put them in there so I don't have to pull them out again in the future because I'm doing pretty good right now managing my power my food and my water I got a pretty good solid amount of dwellers I'm stacked up so I'll have to get some more soon but that's how you go ahead and uh, you understand special and how you can kind of max out your characters and get them uh, further along and get more productivity out of each of your rooms. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you check out some of my other videos.